Please, Sony. I want some more. What? P p please, Sony. I, I want some more. More? Sony, 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 Sony. All right. I I read this article, right? That stated from Sean Layden that the reason why PlayStation Experience ended so abruptly was because of how epic Paragon's trailer was. You know, I didn't even know about Paragon. I've seen like Fry talk about it, and he even told me there was this should have been where the gameplay was announced, ended up being the CGI trailer. So, according to Sean Layden, he said that this, uh, actually, let me, let me just quote the nigga, that ending, that, that closure from Epic, oh, I feel like I, I, that Epic, <laughs> that Epic trailer from Paragon. In a typical show, I do the opening and I do the closing, but that Paragon video was so powerful, I didn't want to go on after that. You didn't want me coming and saying, thank you for coming, please enjoy these shits these games um let just let that thing close that was that was a drop the mic moment that was fabulous i'm really happy with with the guys at epic right and like okay right he epics Ep, like paragon's probably going to be it's, it's going to be a, a decent game it's going to be really interesting but my problem with what he said here is that he's completely content with a triple a title ending his conference you started your conference showing Uncharted 4, exclusive to the PlayStation. That is that is your brand. Like you're like I, I don't understand why people are saying like, oh it's okay because PlayStation Experience it's just it's it's all about the indie titles. Like you don't have to like like they never show anything huge. And like it, whether whether that's true or not, I think that's retarded. And I hate using that word, but like I, I just really feel like it is because it's this is your personal conference. This isn't E3 where you're where you're up against the Microsofts, the Nintendos, like all the no. This is your PlayStation experience. This is you to show off your brand. This is for you to show off that you are top at the sales list right now with your console. That I already know this beat your expectations. You guys had you guys probably had the lowest expectations coming out of PS3 sales, and going into it, you guys are completely demolishing everybody. So you go into your conference. You should just be like, this should have been the conference that's hyping us up. Like, yo, thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Like, you guys made this shit happen. Like, ooh, big fireworks, fucking flamethrowers. I don't know. But, like, some shit like that, right? And then you're completely content with ending your show with a AAA title not developed by Sony. Like, I feel like if it's a PlayStation experience, you should have dropped the mic with something we haven't seen before. In 2014... You guys showed us Bloodborne, which is complete contender for Game of the Year. Don't listen to the VGX Awards. I mean, The Witcher is definitely is definitely Game of the Year. I completely agree. But the contender, like Bloodborne, I didn't even get to fully play it. I, I, I rebought it so I can play this again and try to get past the levels that were like, freaking hard as hell. And like, I'm definitely gonna like try to jump in with somebody because I did it alone and nah. But um, Bloodborne visually, the eerie, creepy, dark nature of everything the boss battles like just the gameplay itself that was a fully constructed game exclusive to sony and then they also announced until dawn which was completely constructed and such a different kind of game because i feel like we've never seen a game that's like so movie like because that's exactly what it was they made it like a movie so coming out of 2014's conference we had some things to look forward to you know besides the obvious announcements of like uncharted 4 which they did last year as well and this year they showed more of it because it's the beta is currently out, but you're content with ending it on a AAA title. He clearly said that it was one of those moments that you dropped the mic. No, I didn't drop. I dropped my mic because I was like, "Is this it? Is this the end?" Like, oh, ah, ah. <laughs> it's, it's so frustrating. And then being a content creator, it's like there's so many games. I know there's a lot of games coming out. Like, I know they have like they showed Primal. Um, 
you all didn't show it there. They showed it at uh, the VGX Awards, and like you have the division and Ghost Recon and stuff like that. But it's like as a content creator, it kind of freaks me out because it's like a lot of what you guys see on my channel is broadcasted from my PS4. Oh, that that thing over there, right? So it's like you, because it really made me think. I was like, what am I playing right now? Because the end of the year was supposed to be the bangers, right? We had Call of Duty, Fallout 4, Star Wars Battlefront, Rainbow Six, uh, Just Cause 3. Like, these were supposed to be the big games. And some of them actually did live up. I've heard great things about Just Cause 3. Um, Rainbow Six has actually been really promising. Black Ops 3 is always, like, I always say it's, it's that game to go back on when you have nothing else to play. It's kind of just what Call of Duty's become. Um, Battlefront, uh, a lot of people liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. Uh, personally, it wasn't my kind of game. It is what it is, you know. And then um, Fallout Four, it, it just—I don't know. I, I just like I played The Witcher, and like it was really hard for me to get into another game and like completely like I feel like I'm redoing it, you know. Something that just goes so in depth for the storyline, and it's really hard for me to go back to it. I'm really hoping I do though. So it's like I'm looking at all that, and it's like what am I playing right now? I was really going into the PlayStation experience with like expectations that we were gonna see something different, like. I don't even care if they would have did the remasters. Well, I would have cared, but like if they would have brought back Cash Crash Bandicoot or SOCOM, that would have been awesome. But I kind of wanted something like completely new, like how they did last year, like something that's like, oh shit. And like I know they tried the VR, but fuck that shit. So it's, I don't know. I kind of made this video. I didn't want to rant because I'm a um we I did the corner with uh, Abel for the, the whole Team Green thing, a bunch of people were in there. That was awesome. Everyone was just like ranting because it was like literally like live reaction after the fact. So I, I'll, I'll link that below. But it's like I, I, I didn't want to really retalk that. I kind of just like I read that article and it really just frustrated me because it's like you're like you're one of the biggest, you're like the CEO, the president like of Sony and you're okay with your press conference ending with just a AAA title that didn't even show gameplay. Sony, get your shit together, guys. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Leave a like. Tell me how your day is, guys. Leave a comment. I will respond to all of you guys. Mad love. But uh, you could also get in contact with me with any of the links above. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.